It always starts the same way. You boot up your system, fire up a terminal, and get ready to do some morally questionable things. For educational purposes, of course. You've got your payload prepped, your targets scoped, your caffeine levels dangerously high, and then it hits. Not the blue team, not a firewall, not even MFA. No, your first and fiercest enemy is Windows Defender. Before you even get the chance to run anything shady, your tool gets quarantined faster than you can say, obfuscated PowerShell. Mm. And you sit there thinking, am I getting caught by my own operating system? People love to say hackers avoid Windows because it's more secure. That's not what's happening. It's not that Windows is too secure. It's that Windows is a security product in itself, and you're not the customer. You're the threat actor, and it treats you accordingly. Trying to run hacking tools on Windows is like trying to rob a bank while the getaway car is actively snitching to the cops. You download something like Mimikatz, and boom, it's deleted mid-download. You try to run a simple reverse shell, and Windows Defender throws a fit like you just launched a biohazard. You're not even in the target network yet. You're just trying to get your tooling running, and you're already locked in combat with the OS that's supposed to be helping you, but it doesn't stop there. Even when Defender chills out, your problems don't. Every major hacking tool you want to use was built with Linux in mind. Sure, some of them run on Windows, but run is a strong word. Metasploit will install, but it'll crash more than a student driver with a blindfold. SQL map will technically work, but only after you install 17 dependencies, sacrifice a goat, and still end up with a traceback longer than your attack chain. And PowerShell. Oh, PowerShell. It's powerful, I'll give you that. But it's like trying to fight with a lightsaber made of paperwork. You want to do something basic, like send an HTTP request, and suddenly you're writing 14 lines of code and parsing XML just to get a response. Meanwhile, Bash is over here letting you curl your way into anything you want with two keystrokes and a grin. And don't even get me started on how PowerShell logs everything like an overly nosy diary. At some point you realize it's not just the tools, it's not just Defender. It's the entire philosophy of Windows. This is an OS built for stability, compliance, enterprise stuff. It assumes you're a corporate user, or at best, an admin trying to keep things safe. It doesn't expect you to be poking around in memory or reverse engineering binaries. It's like bringing a Nerf gun to a paintball match. You're gonna get smacked, and you're gonna look dumb doing it. Speaking of hackers pulling off ridiculous stunts, here's something even dumber. Most of them are broke. Why? Because they waste time watching random tutorials that teach them everything except how to actually make money. You know, like the folks pulling in $1,000, $5,000, even $10,000 plus from hacking. Just by knowing where to look, what to exploit, and how to turn vulnerabilities into payouts. That's exactly what we break down inside CyberFlows Academy. No fluff, no outdated theory, just the real skills that get results. Web hacking, bug bounty, reverse engineering, and full ethical hacking. All taught step by step, so you actually know what you're doing. We even have a private community where hackers share exploits before they go public, so you'll see exactly how others are landing four-figure bounties and how you can do the same. Some members have made back their investment in weeks, others have turned hacking into a full-time job, spots are closing fast, every day you wait, some guy with a smart toaster is getting ahead of you. Click below, get inside, and start making hacking pay. And so hackers do what hackers always do. They go where the friction isn't. They boot into Kaylee, or Parrot, or some cursed Arch install with four broken dependencies and no desktop environment, but at least no Defender. On Linux, tools just work. Need Nmap? It's there. Need a Python environment? It's not locked down by 12 layers of user permissions and digital signatures. You want to bind to port 80? You sudo and move on with your life. There's no passive-aggressive pop-up asking if you want to register your application with Microsoft Smart Screen, and that's the thing. Hackers don't use Linux because it's cool. They use it because it works. Because when you're breaking into a network, you don't want to fight two wars at once. One against your target, and one against the OS under your fingers. You want control, you want flexibility, you want the system to get out of your way. So no, hackers don't avoid Windows because it's too secure. They avoid it because Windows is like a mall cop with a taser, loud, paranoid, and way too eager to ruin your day. 